Hi all, hope all is well. On today's video, I wanted to give an update in regards to some mysterious material I found last week while doing operations next to an old cane field. Um, so it's not the first time that I've found this material next to a cane field. I've also found this material about three kilometers away, um, closer to the coastline, next to another cane field as well. So it was buried in the ground and I actually dug a piece up and had a closer look. And it was exactly like the piece that you're seeing in front of you here. Now, I've had plenty of comments in the comment section on that video um, in regards to possibilities of what the material actually is. There were also quite a few comments in regards to ways to actually test the material to try and identify what it actually was. So this is one suggestion here saying it could be smelt slag from a large kiln. Um, there was another conversation as well, another suggestion that perhaps it was pumice and that I could test it by trying to float it on water. I suspected the same thing myself, but normally the pumice around here, around this region is white. This was purely black and it was quite dense. So I went ahead and we'd done some of the tests anyway. It was purely for um, video purposes, for demonstration purposes. Um, so we went ahead, dropped it in the water. You can see that it just sunk like a stone um, because obviously it is. Um, it's quite dense, it's quite heavy. The next test I wanted to do is heat it up because if it's carbon based, um, there was a suggestion that perhaps it's from the sugar cane um, accumulating and becoming carbonized against the soil. Um, it should burn. If it was carbon based, it should, should burn. And unfortunately it didn't burn. It brought off some amazing colors though. That orange color that you see in there, I'm sure that's an indication of something else that I'm missing at this stage. I'll have to do a little bit more research into what that may indicate. Um, but you can see there that it didn't actually burn, so it's not carbon based. Um, the next test I did was to break a few pieces off it. So I got the old trusty ax out and I smashed it up into smaller pieces. Now the purpose of doing this was purely so I could get a magnet to it. So I could take a magnet to it and see if the magnet would attract any of the pieces to it and this was actually successful. Now you can see the hollows in this material as well. So obviously when it was formed, there was a lot of gases present in it um, and left plenty of pockets in, in the material itself. Um, so you can see here, I end up getting the magnet out and you'll watch carefully, you'll see that the material is indeed attracted to the magnet. This indicates that it's iron based. So the theory about it coming from uh, a steel kiln um, that it's actually slag from a metal furnace is looking to be the most plausible possibility at this stage. So now that we've answered this question, what is the material? The next question, the next logical question that I should be asking is, where did the material come from? Um, so like I said in the previous video in regards to finding this material, the area is surrounded by magnetite. It's laying around everywhere and it's highly magnetic and it is a, an almost pure form of iron ore. So you can process this iron ore to create iron implements such as cane knives or cane tools for actually harvesting the cane. Um, and I'm thinking my theory at this stage is that perhaps they were smelting iron ore on this site um, perhaps a hundred years ago and manufacturing tools on the site. So there may have been a blacksmith present. Um, who knows? The only way to find out now would be to go to the local historical society and see if I can get some answers from them there. So just to summarize, we've done a variety of different tests to try and identify what this mysterious material is. Out of those tests, the most positive result we got was by doing a magnetic test to see if the material was magnetic. And it was indeed magnetic, which indicates it could possibly be slag from an iron furnace or an iron kiln um, for smelting iron ore into uh, pig ore, they call it, which is just a raw form of iron before the blacksmith gets it and can actually work it into implements. So in conclusion, basically we're left with uh, a little bit of an enigma. We need more answers and to get those answers we're going to have to go to the local historical society um, with details about the location of the find and perhaps they have a bit more information about um, what type of industrial processes went on in that area um, as far back as the area was founded which is the mid 1800s. 
Um, and so that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video or if you found it interesting or if you got anything of value out of it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe as well. Until next time, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.